So, apparently, vaginal orgasms are a thing like Bigfoot. Some swear by them. Others say they're just a myth. And here I am, trying to prove they exist like I'm the guy from Ancient Aliens. Look, I was told that if I just go deep, magic would happen. Spoiler alert. Turns out it's not a magic trick, it's a team sport, and I've been playing solo. I mean, seriously, I thought I had it all figured out. But no, the clitoris was sitting there the whole time, like, Dude, I'm literally right here, why are you ignoring me? It's like showing up to a marathon and realizing the finish line was two blocks behind you. And let's talk about that first third of the vagina, this mystical zone covered in erectile tissue. Apparently, I've been aiming for the Grand Canyon when all the action was happening in a kiddie pool. The first third, man, that's where the party's at. But no, I was off on some expedition to discover the depths, thinking I was about to uncover Atlantis. Meanwhile, she's probably thinking, does this guy even know what he's doing? No, ma'am, I do not. I'm over here taking a road trip through the scenic route, when all I needed was a five-minute Uber ride to Clit Town. And don't even get me started on the whole direct stimulation thing. Like, why didn't someone tell me that sooner? I've been putting in extra hours for no reason. Honestly, it's like setting up a barbecue and the real party's in the kitchen. And you're out there with your tongs, flipping burgers like an idiot, wondering why everyone's inside. Well, now I know the clitoris is hosting the VIP section, and I didn't even get an invite. So, yeah, vaginal orgasms? Sure, they exist. But the clitoris is a bouncer at the door. You're not getting in without her. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, or you'll never get directions to Clit Town.